Hey fire signs and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for Saturday, February 16th, 2018. This is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. So let's see what you guys have in store for Saturday. What can our fire signs expect in love? Thank you. We got the Hanged Man in Reverse and the Empress in Reverse and the Prince of Swords. The person you are dealing with is the Three of Wands in Reverse. Oh, we got a flipper in there. The Six of Cups and the Two of Swords. Your guys' outcome for the day. is the Nine of Pentacles and the Eight of Swords in Reverse with the Death card in Reverse. Your guys' bottom of the deck is the Seven of Cups clarified by the Six of Pentacles in Reverse and the King of Swords. All right, the Queen of Wands next under there, right in place where you should be. So you're experiencing a lot of confusion around a, a life partner, around somebody that you're married to or that you... Um, are wanting to be married to there's a lot of confusion a lot of illusions someone could be making you think something that's not really the case um, because the the energy is out of balance the the sharing of energy uh, just is not the same not the same give and take that is coming to an end however but you are going to take a much logical much more logical approach to this relationship and and where you go from here you kind of feel like fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me type of energy. Um, you're just not really putting up with a whole lot of bullshit anymore with this person who is trying to spread themselves too thin um, within a third party. They could be trying to confuse you on purpose. They could be trying to make you feel guilty for some reason. But you've taken a step back from this whole situation fire signs and and became enlightened in a whole new way in this time of separation from this person um, they've really been holding you back creatively creatively um, from beginning anything new uh, you've really felt stuck in this energy so you haven't moved forward and created anything um, with anyone else within yourself you just been kind of staying stuck but that's coming to an end because you are enlightened to something while you were in this time of separation and you're coming forward and delivering some truth quite quite honest like brutally almost um, but it's something that needs to be said it may not be completely like from your heart space but it's completely true so um, it's something that needs to be said to this person the person you are dealing with is at a distance from you. They're unable to manifest right now because they're not doing the work that needs to be done in order for the two of you to come together. There could be kids involved in this situation, so they're not moving forward the, in the progression that they should. Um, you could be pregnant with their child as well. Yeah, but this is a soulmate you're dealing with because you do have the Six of Cups and the Seven of Cups which are both soulmate cards to me, but they're not making a decision. They're not making a decision to move forward. They're just staying stuck in, up to this point in, in their current situation, which isn't allowing the two of you to come together the way you should. Um, in this meantime, though, you have been working on yourself. You look great, fire signs. You're very, um, you've invested in yourself. You've taken the time to put in the work within yourself to make yourself better, to, um, you could have been taking classes. You're just becoming very successful within your own right, knowing your value, knowing who you are, knowing what you need to do and where you need to go from here. And it's bringing you out of this place of being stuck because it comes in right under that empress. So you're no longer feeling stuck creatively. You're going to move forward and you're going to create something very dynamic here. Um, with the death card in reverse, uh, your person is because they're the one with the choice. They're choosing not to go through the spiritual transformation which is being called for. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? 
Yes, beautiful. There you are, Sagittarius. Um, you're coming in with the equilibrium. You, in this time, you have worked very hard on yourself. Like I said, you have healed. You have found your balance again. You have found your self-worth, your self-value, and you are not settling for less. You are looking very beautiful in your own, um, in your own element there, Sagittarius. And Aries and Leo, you as well have found balance, found peace, found self-love. And you guys are being very patient in the process. The Eight of Swords, you're no longer feeling stuck in this third-party situation. You are done with that. You are moving forward. And um, even though your person is resisting this death, uh, they are going to... Um, they, oh, look at that. Seven of Cups on the bottom again. This is most definitely a soulmate. They are going to find their ground again as well. You could be dealing with another fire sign. But most importantly, this person has a lot of passion for you. So when a push comes to shove, this person will go through this, uh, this process um, in order to keep you, is what I'm hearing for this group of you. Let's see what our Romance Angels have for you guys for today. Romance Angels, what advice do you have for our fire signs? Finances and career. So um, financial issues could be a factor in your love life right now. So they could be resisting going through this death process because of their finances. Um, you could have had financial issues, but fire sign, I don't see this as you because you're coming up as the nine of pentacles. So you are very successful right now financially. Um, emotionally you are right on target so I do feel this is your person they're refusing to go through this death process out of fear of their finances let's see what our goddess guidance has for us today all right look at that prosperity the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving like I said most definitely your finances and career are not being affected but you look amazing um, fire signs. So allow the universe to pour out that prosperity to you and enjoy the day um, as you will be open to receiving these many gifts from the universe. So all right, fire signs, I hope you have a beautiful Saturday. I'll see you next time. God bless.